welcome back to the second half of final round. We will now finish off our discussions and predictions for UFC 99, the comeback. Now we'll go on to the sub-main event of the evening between Cheek Congo and Cain Velasquez. Heath Herring was originally the opponent for Cain, but had to pull out due to illness, which means he has swine flu. Or maybe the common cold? This is a big match for both men as we understand Congo could get a title shot if he wins this fight and after taking it on short notice. While Velasquez has been highly tipped as having a future in the heavyweight division. If Congo repeats his performance like the fight against Herring, he will lose. Both men will go straight for the kill as soon as the bell is rung. Kane needs the win to join the high ranks like Shane Carwin achieved and Congo needs the, the win to get the title shot that he deserves. I guess Congo doesn't have AIDS if White has offered him this. This is a close fight to call. I may see an upset coming here with a win for Kane. A win would boost his confidence and maybe get a fight against the likes of Gonzaga. If Congo loses, he goes right back to mediocre fights again. This is a must-win situation for Congo to show he can beat top quality fighters. I don't think Kane will get treated bad if he loses considering his lack of experience, but it's a must-win fight for both guys. Now to the main event between Vandela e. Silva and Rich Franklin. This will be at a catch weight as both guys want to move to opposite divisions. Another good match, that may be closer than we think. Both men need the win after their recent losses with Silva losing to Jackson and Franklin to Henderson. Both guys are safe division-wise, I see Franklin maybe get Liddell or someone like Thiago Silva. I would like to see Silva go head-to-head -head against Okami or Demian Maya. I think a fight with Maya would be immense. I think the axe murderer may just take it here, but I wouldn't rule out or underestimate Franklin. It's too close to call for me, but do you think that the winner may get in the contenders match for the belt at their respected divisions? No, Franklin needs more light heavyweight fights, but I see Silva getting the loser of Bisping and Henderson. But Okami and Maya as I said, aren't far away in the title race. They're both big draws for the UFC, but two straight losses for one will hurt them. I guess only time will tell. I know this isn't related to UFC, but are you going to watch Dream 9 with Jose Canseco's MMA debut? Against Hong Man Choi? He'll get murdered so bad they won't recognize him. But it's disgraceful on Dream's part that they need to resort to this to gain buys. We will also like to confirm that the UFC 100, 101 and 102 predicts will be up sooner than expected due to the official break final round will have. There also may not be some reviews after. We apologize again for any inconvenience. Thought it means you don't have to see that bald prick for a bit. Fuck off carrot top head. That is us for today. We'll be back for WWE Extreme Rules and UFC 100 predictions. See you all later.